All right, today we're gonna bring a Vivor forge. This is a heavy duty forge up to 2600 in Fahrenheit, the highest you can go. Now included with this, you get the bricks, all right? We haven't opened up yet, but the actual bricks that retain the heat, all right? These don't break apart, don't melt. They're replaceable too, so don't worry about that. Now do you have the three splitter for the propane tank there's an off and on on every single one of them has a lever and the main connection that actually gets a split to go to your propane tank now not including propane tank you got to include your own propane tank and you got have to actually screw in and set up the whole thing now you got the three pipes that actually have the torches all right you, you set them up in here one by one here you lock them in place one by one if you guys can see it lock it in place make sure it doesn't move then what you want to do is lock these in place too right make sure that the torch does not move too and these also have locks in here right that you lock them in place now the forge itself it's a little narrow in here if you guys can see that but you get the whole enchilada in here now you have one entry here if you guys can see that one whole entry here then we go back we got the whole larger entry in here so one and then you have handles in here but these are going to heat up with the actual torch but be careful make sure you're using the proper material when you're using this and setting it up all right okay so we got this really nice forge and this is a little bit bigger this is a three burner forge we're going to start putting it together and show you guys how it works you tie it up here once it drops just so it doesn't move, it's not gonna fall, but you just wanna be secure. And this is to close the flame so it doesn't go through that outside. You loosen it here and tie it up there. I'm gonna leave them down for right now. This is your gas line. So to put it together, you don't wanna spin it because you might strip it, so we just took it apart. And we're gonna start threading it. Then to tie it up, I got the wrench here. Just give it a little twist. And we're good. Connecting the propane. So just make sure it's really tight. And this is a pressure regulator for the gas, for the flame. I'm gonna open up the gas already. Right now we have a retractor brick that is used for the, and we're gonna start testing it out right now. We're gonna put in the brick inside of here. Put it in here. And then we're gonna check it out. Nice, Iva. Nice and so here's a pressure regulator. Nice. I know. You saw it? Because you have to close it. Yeah, well, you can close it here. Nice. Yeah. And then it has three flammas. Yeah. So. Here, let me turn another one. Oh, I thought they were on. Yeah, ready? It's on, go ahead. Okay. So right now we're gonna turn the second valve. Open it up. Do you see it goes in there? Gonna close it up as well. Nice. All right, for actual thermal purposes, we set it up. We only turned on two pipes in here, but we were getting excessive um, heat up to over a thousand Fahrenheit on this one, if you guys can see, but just two pipes alone could uh, actually bring up a lot of heat, but with three, you could go maximum of 2000. So this is very convenient if those that are work in the jewelry industry, or you want to forge your own uh, metal pieces or jewelry, art, all sorts of things you can do with this at home, anywhere. But just make it, make sure you use it in a safe environment. Like here, we have it out in the open 
away from any buildings, away from any platforms. So I hope you guys enjoy the video.